I'm gonna show you today how to make a, a fast soup, a good soup, full of vitamins and not expensive at all. So I need one onion, two of the, garl of the cloves, of the garlics, and a little a bit of basilic, six zucchini, and a padano or parmigiano, parmigiano, <laughs> as you have in your fridge. So, there, as you see, there's no base, there's no broth, and uh, that's how I learned to make soup. I can tell you that I have 10 years of experience making soup. So you cut the onion big size. So you don't need uh, to cut very uh, thinly, thinly, can we say that, thinly? Yes. Mace. Because the thing is, you're gonna, we're going to blend everything in a blender. So if the zucchini is old, you remove the skin. But now it's brand new. <laughs> so I need six. I'm going to put my cheese there. It's about to finish. Not the soup, but uh, cutting. So I'm already done. So I need now to put some olive oil and to caramelize the onion and the garlic for five minutes. Then I add the zucchini and I add a little bit of water. So we'll see together. A bit of oil, olive oil. And I have to put the onions and the two cloves of the garlic. And wait, be patient, only for five minutes. It, it's even difficult for me to be patient for five minutes. <laughs> so I let them caramelize. So around four and five minutes later, it's uh, more yellowish, like uh, a bit of caramelized, but we don't want them brown. And you add the zucchini with or without the skin. Make sure that your zucchini is not bitter, so you can taste them when it's fresh. You can slice them fresh. Add a little bit of lemon, a bit of um, mint, and a bit of parmesan, and you have a, a carpaccio of zucchini. And I forgot salt and olive oil. <laughs> so I add my six big zucchini, important salt because you have no broth so but it's better not to make too much salt and because if it's too salty you have a big problem fresh pepper that's very important don't use the flaky one it's not good it doesn't taste good it tastes like uh, chips <laughs> and you want you don't want them to burn but you go as far as you can. Not add water, not water to right now, because you want to like make them sweet. So if you salt, you put them, you caramelize them, they're sweeter, better. So I add a little bit of water. I wait. I add like one or two cups. Because the zucchini has a lot of water inside. So you don't you want the, the soup thick and not waterish in the taste. And I will add a little bit more. I don't want to cover them just before covering them. You wait 10 minutes and as soon as it's cooked, you blend them and I'll show you after. If I need more water, I'll add, and if I add more water, I'll add more salt. So I close the fire. <laughs> Turn up, not close. Huh? So because we keep the skin, we have more vitamins. We have more vitamins because we, we, we didn't cook it as long as more than 10 minutes. I have some cheese, very good cheese. 
And then your soup is ready. You can eat it that way, or you add the um, the or some basil or some mint or some uh, estragon. I don't know how you say that estragon uh, in in uh, tarragon. tarragon. So a little bit, one of them, and it's done and it's good.